All right, so let's go over some of the new features that are in version 1.2 of the SVG library. Uh, one of the first things you'll probably notice up here is you actually get an SVG count. Uh, it's actually counting every single thing that is uh, listed in here as far as all your SVGs. Whenever you import new ones, uh, make sure you click the uh, refresh button or show all here, and that will refresh that count. That will give you a good little total on how big your library is getting. All right, so something else that is new with the version 1.2 is the background. You can actually change the background of this because a lot of people, they were saying that uh, they had uh, an SVG on there and they couldn't see it. They thought it was blank or something. So, for example, I have this Mojo Monday popped up. And if I go over here to change the background color to something else, say black, we can actually see those white pieces show up. So that's why we added the background color so you guys can actually see what's actually going on with the SVG because some SVGs will not have a border around it with a black line and you know just like this one and that way you can use the uh, background colors you know if you that's not pleasing to you you can use another preset and see how that does okay so those are the background presets that you guys have to choose from alright so another thing that we added in version 1.2 is folders you can now create folders for your uh, shapes or patterns that you have in your library okay and you and then when you have your folders established you can use a filter right now we don't have any folders created so it's basically you're going to be showing us everything so let's create a folder real quick for mojo monday okay so th it's real simple we're going to go up to the file menu and we're going to go ahead and hit add and edit folders okay so let's go ahead and create a folder of Mojo Mojo Monday. Okay, we're gonna hit Add. Now, if you accidentally type something wrong with this, you can always uh, you can always double click to edit and uh, just hit the Enter button, and it will save that name again. So that's how you can edit the folder. If you need to delete it, you can hit the Delete button. Uh, you know, of course, select the uh, item that you would like to delete and hit the Delete folder. Okay, so once you're done creating the folder, now we can actually assign uh, these patterns to the folder. So I'm going to go ahead and enable multiple selection because we can assign multiple files to a folder. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm actually going to uh, leave all of them right here. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them but this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go up to File assign folders to selected and here this is where I can uh, I can select all of them I can choose to only select a few of them and then I go over here to assign Mojo Monday to it and I hit assign and as you can see the folder assignment will update and I can actually reselect everything and hit assign and hit finished now all those will be assigned to Mojo Monday now if you do not have that enabled and say this is the one that we did not add a folder to it so we can we can actually double click this and we can assign it a folder right here mojo monday and hit update close and now that folder is now assigned to that uh, mojo monday file and just use the folder filter and now we can see all of the mojos okay hopefully that makes sense and it was a great addition to the SVG library. All right, so we made some changes with importing now, and I'm gonna show you this here real quick. We are now allowing you to drag and drop individual SVG files into this import area. So for example, you can take this right here, you can drop it in there and it adds it, okay? So that was a feature request that someone asked and we were glad to implement it. All right, now, something else that we have added in here is you can actually change the name of this SVG file prior to importing okay all you have to do is double click and you can change the name to something else and then you just hit the enter button in order to save that okay so that was another another uh, great improvement in version 1.2 now another 
great thing would be the duplicate checker. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this entire folder in here. And as you can see, I have copies. I have copies of these SVGs. And if I go ahead and move all of these over here, and I hit check for duplicates, the check for duplicates now is actually going to check the import list queue for duplicates first. Then it's going to check your library for duplicates as well. Okay, so we will be notified before we even import anything if we have any duplicates. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that right now. And it's saying, hey, all these files right here, they are duplicates. And uh, plus we have four remaining here that are not listed. Would we like to remove this from the list? And of course, we don't want duplicates in our library. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those. And there we have it. Uh, we have originals, no duplicates, that we are going to import into our library. So right, so all these files right here come from Sherry K, and now when you import, it's going to ask you, would you like to assign it a folder to go into? And I'm going to go ahead and hit Add Q to Library, and we get this little message box that appears, would you like to add these to a folder? Okay, and so now, if you do not have a folder uh, created, it will ask you, would you like to create one? But if you do not see your folder listed here that you would like to insert it in there, you're going to have to hit Cancel. And then you're going to have to go to File, Add and Create Folders, okay? And that way you can add your folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit Cancel. Now I'm going to add this to my library. Yes, I would like to add it to a folder. And I'm going to go ahead and move these all to Sherry K. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select everything. And I can hit Assign. Now, of course, you can assign things different, uh, different folders. You know, say, for example, I wanted these last three here to be a part of Mojo Monday, I can hit assign and it will do that. Okay, so you don't have to assign everything a uh, folder right then and there uh, of it being all the same. You can choose different folders. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and change that back to Sherry K. I'm going to hit finished. I'm going to hit OK. Now everything has been added to my library just fine. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to hit the little refresh button and I can go down here to Sherry K and all my Sherry K files will appear. All right, so now we added a common tag window, and let me show you what that is real quick. If we go to File, and we go over to Open Common Tag Window, this window will pop up right here. Now this window is going to show you a list of all the tags that you have currently used with all your patterns. Okay, so this way you can actually, when you're assigning things, like for example, let's go ahead and assign these some tags. And I'm going to tag this with flower and flourish. So if I double click and I go ahead and come over here, I'm going to select flower and I'm going to select flourish. And I'm just going to drag and drop this right here and it automatically adds the flourish comma flower. And these tag uh, fields right here, whenever it comes to a comma, it counts that as one tag. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a tag. And as you can see, it added flower and it added flourish in there. Okay, so that's that's a quick way how you can uh, tag your items now by using tags that you've already used. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit update close. Now you can do this with multiple selection as well. You know, like all of these are flourishes. Now even though we tagged uh, number nine with a flourish already, if we go up to add tags, and we just want to add flourish because they're all flourishes. It's going to tag them all, and it's going to get to that number nine, and it will it will try to add it, but it won't. Okay, it's not going to double tag something. So if it already has a flourish in there, it's not going to add it as a tag because it's already a tag. Okay, so I'm going to hit finish tagging. Now all of these will uh, have flourish assigned to them. So if I go ahead and double click number four, we should see flourish as as a tag. All right, so now. Uh, with, with this common tags window open, we can also do a quick uh, search. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop flower over here, and it's going to pull up all the flowers that uh, are currently in the database. You know, if I want flourish, I'm going to go ahead and drop and drag flourish, and it's going to pull up all the flourishes. So that's what the common tag window will do for you. Uh, it will help you search. It will help you uh, add tags to the files. Now, if you were to tag if you were to tag one of these shapes here uh, with something else, 
Here we'll we'll do birds, okay? Because it came from birds, and uh, we're going to go ahead and double click this, and I'm going to add birds. Hit the add tag. I'm going to hit update close. Now the common tags window won't refresh until you actually close out and you you bring it back up again, okay? So now we should see birds in there and it will work as advertised. All right. So that's the common tag window. So all right. So anytime you do a big, uh, big import or if you do a big, mad tagging session, you may want to use this new feature in. Uh, version 1.2 which is the under the file menu you can go file create backup okay so what this will do is it will find your library that's actually on your hard drive and it will actually make a copy of it for you so that you can save it on an external hard drive you can save it on a thumb drive you can save it on the same computer if you wish but it allows you to create a backup of your entire database okay so you can use this as a way to back up the library. Now keep in mind that the more projects and files that you may have, you know, this could get into the one gigabyte, two gigabyte type of file. So keep that in mind when using this. It will just ask you where would you like to save it. You can name it whatever you like, and it will be a little database file. Okay, now you know, sometimes databases get corrupt, uh, and this is a way to help you prevent that by creating a backup. Okay? So, with that said, that's about it on the updates on the SVG library version 1.2. We got a lot more planned with uh, the next version that we're going to be coming out with. And so, stay tuned for that. Keep using it, tell your friends about it and hopefully you guys enjoy this program okay so with that i'm rob with scrappy do of course and we'll see you next time bye